All right, what's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Good? You doing good? That's good. That's good. HBN family. That's good. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about fragrances, basically. That's basically what this video is about. <sighs> I know most of you already, maybe you might use fragrances, you might not. But let me tell you this. Fragrances are part of your style. You should wear fragrances wherever you go. Whenever you're going outside, it's just like wearing clothes. Also, that's why people, that's why they use the word wear with a fragrance. You wear fragrances; they're part of your style, guys. They're part of your style. They're part of your style, and it's the number one best way. I'm gonna tell you. Actually, no. I'm gonna tell you two secrets about fragrances. So, fragrances. First of all, they're scents, and if you know what on your body actually detects scents. That's your nose, right? Your nose is the number one sensory organ with the best memory that in the world ever. Your nose has a very, very good memory. If you smell something or if you smell a scent, you're going to remember the scent. It's going to be hard for you to forget later on. You might forget, but it's going to be it's going to take a long time or some time for you to forget. That's why sometimes you might smell a, a certain scent and remember somebody because they used to use that scent. Something like that. I don't know if that's happened to you before, but it's happened to me so many times. I'll smell a certain scent on somebody else, and I remember somebody else that used that, or one of my friends that used that scent back in the day. So, your nose remembers things. Your nose remembers scents. It remembers the smells of things. So, remember that. That's why everybody remembers the smell of a fart. Because we all, we've, we've all smelled farts so many times in our lives. And like, not everybody's fart smells the same, but we know it's a fart either way. So, we all, like the nose is, has the best memory ever. And the second thing, the second thing I'm gonna, the second tip I'm gonna give you concerning fragrances is that fragrances are the number one best way you can nail a first impression. To get the best first impression ever, use a fragrance. Smell nice, basically. Because like I said, your brain, your your nose is the number one sensory organ that has a great that has a best memory. And secondly, you smell good. If you walk out here and you've been around people, not a lot of people smell good. In fact, some people smell bad. But not a lot of people smell good. Most people smell like nothing. Some people go out, they dress up, they look nice, but they don't put any cologne. They smell like nothing. Some people go out, <laughs> they smell bad. Only few people actually use colognes and smell nice. So if you're one of those people that are actually smelling nice, people are going to notice that even when you meet them. Once they, once you go talk to them, they come into your personal space, they smell how good you smell, they're going to remember that. And once they have something in their head that's telling you that's a positive, it's going to be hard for them to change it to a negative or to start thinking of you in a negative way unless you do something really outrageous to mess it up. So... Have a good cologne. Smell nice. Okay? Alright, those are the two tips. But, now let's actually get into the video. So, for this video, most of you have colognes, most of you don't have colognes. Maybe you might, you maybe you might not. But, do you guys actually know what a cologne is made of? Do you? You don't? Okay, let's get into that then. I'll tell you right now what a, what a cologne is made of. So a cologne, first of all, they're made of two things, oil and alcohol. And depending on the concentration of the oil of the cologne, it's also going to depend on how long the cologne stays or how long it smells on your body after you spray it. And it also depends on the price. So the higher the concentration of the oil in the cologne, the higher the price. And the longer it sticks, the longer it smells, the longer it stays. The lower the concentration, it goes away faster basically and it's gonna be really cheap so you might buy some colognes or you might have bought some colognes in your life you spray that and it's gone in the next 30 minutes that's because the alcohol content is very high and the and the oil content is very low but when you get a real nice cologne that you've actually invested good money into then you're gonna then you're gonna see the value of it it's gonna stick longer it's gonna smell better you might have different different kind of scents over the amount of time it's gonna stay or uh, it's gonna be smelling those are nice colognes basically so 
the concentration is best so for best for so it's okay so it's really best it's best for you to get a colon with a high concentration of oil in it that's basically it all right so now you know what a cologne is you know the reason why you should be wearing a cologne you want a good first impression and the nose remember cologne is a scent and the nose has a good memory you want people to remember you basically and you want to have a good impression on people so those are the, those are the two things i've taught you i'm going to teach you now actually let me, before i get into how to actually use a cologne let me tell you some colognes let me recommend some colognes to you so I've, no, I've only used a handful of colognes. I've only used a handful of colognes. I've used Macy Marella Fig um, Fireplace. I'm gonna put that under, I'm gonna put a picture of it up. Macy Marella Fireplace, YSLY, and Vintage Sandalwood. Those are the ones I've used. The one I'm using currently right now is Vintage Sandalwood, and I really love it, it's amazing. Those, if you wanna get any of those three fragrances, you're in a good path, you're good. Those fragrances are nice. Those fragrances are nice. So you can get any one of them. But if you want to get another one except for those one, you're going to have to research because I'm not going to recommend something to you that I haven't used or experienced and I know it's good. So go research on your own if you want to get something different and find the fragrance for yourself. But for now, I'm going to teach you guys how to use a fragrance, how to actually use a fragrance. And people make mistakes with these people do everything. And if you know already, I'm going to keep things simple on my channel. You don't need more than five to six sprays. Fragrances are good. Fragrances are nice. They're going to help you smell nice. But when you start overusing them or over spraying or whatever, you're going to make a good thing bad. Too much of something is not good. Too much of anything is not good. So don't over spray. Don't make everybody else in the room inconvenient just because you want to smell nice. It doesn't make sense. Just be moderate with it. Be modest with it. Use it with modesty, basically. So you need like about five, you don't need more than five to six sprays. Two on your, uh, two on your wrist, or two, one on each wrist, one, two, and one on each side of the neck. That's basically it, that's all you need. And maybe if you want, you could do like one on each side of your chest, one here, one here, that's it. That's all you need for to smell nice, that's all you need for the day. And maybe if you wanna like recharge sometime in the afternoon, then you can spray it when you like in the afternoon or whatever. I don't know. Whenever you feel like you want to do it again, do it again. But you don't need more than that. You don't need more than that. Okay? You don't need more than that. So, five to six sprays max. That's all you need for. Uh, that's all you need to spray. That's all you need. That's all the spraying you need. So, smell nice. That's good. And with that, I've taught you guys now. The reason why you should wear a cologne, what colognes are made of, and what they actually are, and how to use them. I also recommended some colognes for you, so I've given you some really good value in this video. I hope, I hope, I've, really, I've given you some really good value in this video, and I hope you've learned all the things I've said. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I kind of did this video in a rush. I have things to do, places to be, you know, I'll be about, but... I hope you all are having a nice day. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I'm always going to keep doing my thing. I'm going to keep putting out videos. I'm going to keep putting out content here. And um, if you guys want to see my Rumble channel, I have a link down below in the description. Click the link down below. Go to my Rumble channel. Look at that. And if you also want to uh, subscribe to it also. And if you also want to see more videos from me, subscribe to this channel. Like the video. Like the video. You know, support your boy that makes these videos every time. Support me. You can comment You comment in the video, you know, give me some support. That's good. I'm going to keep putting out these videos for you. If you have any problem with your fashion, anything you want to talk about, any problem with your shoes, colognes, all of that, I have a link down below in the description. You can book a call with me to talk to me personally. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about all your problems and we're going to fix them. In that one hour call, we're going to fix everything. So... With all that said, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you all have a nice day, and I'll see you all in the next one.